It seems like every month or two there's a headline somewhere about an asteroid that's going to fly close by the Earth or maybe even hit us at some point in the future. But just how real is the threat from an asteroid collision? We know that very occasionally big asteroids, those that are several kilometers across, smash into our planet with devastating consequences. Most famously, one came down in the sea off the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico about 65 million years ago and put paid to the last of the dinosaurs and contributed to a mass extinction. It was about 10 kilometers or 6 miles across, was traveling at about 25 kilometers per second and made a crater about 180 kilometers wide. What an impact like that could do to our modern world has been vividly illustrated in disaster and disastrous movies like Deep Impact and Armageddon. Even a much smaller object, say 100 meters across, could cause a heck of a lot of damage traveling at tens of kilometers per second. But beyond the media and Hollywood hype, what are the true risks to us from asteroids? There are roughly 500 million asteroids bigger than 4 meters in diameter in orbit around the Sun. As you might expect, these smaller ones are a lot more common than the bigger ones, and so naturally, Earth experiences low impact collisions far more often than the ones that can cause a lot of damage. The smallest asteroids, in fact, break up when they enter the atmosphere and don't even make it to the surface. They produce a fireball, like a super bright, long lasting shooting star, and then burn up. Occasionally, bits of them make landfall as a shower of meteorites. In 1908, an asteroid measuring probably about 50 to 60 meters across exploded over Siberia, several kilometers above the ground, with the strength of a large hydrogen bomb. Fortunately, the area is largely uninhabited, but the blast, referred to as the Tunguska event, flattened tens of millions of trees. Astronomers know enough now to be able to estimate how often asteroids of different sizes are likely to come close to or hit the Earth in a given period of time. Let's start with asteroids that are about 4 meters across, say the size of a van. We can expect about one of these a year to be on a direct collision course, but they're no threat to us because they'll burn up or break up in the atmosphere. Now let's take into account close approaches as well as direct impacts. A close approach is generally considered to be anything within the distance of the moon, about a quarter of a million miles. In 2022, there were 126 recorded close approaches of asteroids. The biggest of them was 2022 TM2 with an estimated diameter of just under 40 meters, smaller than the Tunguska object. And the closest it came to us was 211,000 kilometers. That's more than 30 times the radius of the Earth. An asteroid would have to be at least a kilometer across to threaten our civilization, and these happen only once every half a million years or so. Over that period of time, there'd be plenty of near misses, if by that we mean roughly within the Moon's distance. The next such event will be in 2029, when asteroid 153814, slightly under a kilometer wide, will come within a quarter of a million miles of Earth. The following year, Apophis will pass by just 38,000 kilometers away but it's less than 400 meters wide. There's virtually no chance of anything really big hitting us within the next few centuries at least. Astronomers estimate that we now know about 95% of all the asteroids more than one kilometer across that can come close to Earth, and they're constantly searching the skies for the few that have so far escaped our notice. As soon as a new one is found, researchers carry out detailed observations of it to determine if it poses any threat. 
A scale called the Torino Scale has been devised to assess any threat posed by asteroids up to 100 years into the future. It goes from zero, for no hazard at all, to 10, meaning certain collision with a big object. Currently, all known objects have a rating of zero. No known object to date has had a rating above four, which means a close encounter meriting attention by astronomers. Finally, if a specific asteroid threat did emerge, we'd almost certainly have the technology and enough time to do something about it. On September the 26th, 2022, a refrigerator-sized NASA spacecraft called DART was intentionally rammed into the 160-meter-wide asteroid Dimorphos to see what effect it would have on the object's trajectory. Dimorphos orbits around a larger asteroid called Didymus. After the collision, the orbital period of Dimorphos was found to have gone down by more than half an hour, from 11 hours 55 minutes to 11 hours 23 minutes. In the future, it's quite possible that given enough lead time, a similar mission on a larger scale could deflect a dangerous asteroid that appeared to be on a direct collision course with Earth.